Hello. Hi, everybody. It is Thursday today. Um, you're going to wonder to yourself, does she ever change what she wears? Yes. Yes. But when I'm in the house, it's cold. <laughs> and uh, it, I always grab the closest thing to me. Anyway, um, it's the beginning of another vlog. Um, it is... It's a really weird time for me to start the vlog because it is five past five in the evening. I'm trying to <clears throat> finish off this editing, this one video. This is a breakup video that has been requested for me to film on uh, the channel. So I'm going to try and finish this. If I don't, I'll probably finish it off tomorrow. I am quite tired. I spent the day uh tidying up this room i spent the day also i'm not at work today i'm off work because of my illnesses um so i spent the day capitalizing on the fact that i'm off work by filming a couple of instagram reels um doing a couple of shots all that kind of stuff so that much is done um I don't know, the rest of my evening pretty much looks really boring. Uh, I don't know if I'll be vlogging much for the rest of this evening. I'll probably officially start vlogging tomorrow um, and throughout the weekend, hopefully, throughout the weekend. Uh, yeah, so for now, I was just touching base, saying hi. Um, I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that you guys are all right. My voice is still quite jacked up from um, being sick and I, I won't even lie I don't really feel the best uh -oh. yeah I won't even lie I don't really feel the best but we'll talk about that at a later stage so yeah I'm gonna go I'll talk to you guys in a little bit maybe later I don't know we'll see okay up this morning I think around 6 and I sat in bed and I listened to the birds and I I did a bit of reading I was supposed to meet up with my friends today but it is bitterly cold so we decided to move our little meet up to later on this month so it's just gonna be another day at home for me which is great I really don't mind um, just gives me an opportunity to cook and read 
and do all the nice things that I want to do. So, um, today, mental health wise, is not the best day, but it's not a bad day either. I think I've just got a lot on my mind um, that I just I can't help get my mind out of this place where I'm constantly just pushing and pushing and pushing and I feel tired most of the time. I just feel tired most of the time. I don't want to make this an emotional chat or an emotional... I don't want to do that. It's just been, it's been a time. I've been sick pretty much the whole week. And today is Saturday. <clears throat> and yesterday was the first day this whole week that I felt normal. It was the first day I felt some sort of normality, which was great. So, I'm out of a few things um, for the house. Like tea. I don't have green tea. I was actually having peppermint tea, which is not really my favorite tea to start off with in the morning. I typically like to start with a cup of green tea. So, I just need to go to the store and get a couple of things. Um, so, that means I need to get out of bed and shower. And then we'll come back and make some breakfast. And yeah, we'll kind of spend the day together. I don't know where my day is going to go today. And sometimes you don't need to know. Sometimes you just need to go with each and every single moment, each and every single minute, second, hour, even though you don't quite know how the day is going to pan out. That's me. So I'm going to go, take a shower, do my face. Got a nice little pimple key thingy here, which is great, fun times. And uh, I'm going to make my way to the store. decided to do this thing about not being a slob because if you watch this channel a lot you'll know that I live in my slacks I live in these okay I live in my I live in these okay and I don't want to be a slob okay so I decided today that uh, I'm gonna wear my jacket got some leggings on just do something other than be a slob okay and then I've got this really, really nice hoodie that I think I stole from my sister. But it's so nice and it's so warm. Look at it on the inside. So that's how it looks on the outside, right? And then on the inside, look at it. Look at it. It's like a fleece. Oh. So I might just... Uh, ah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, so nice. But the only, the only thing is... My hair is wet, <laughs> so I can't wear it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna set it right here so it can dry because my hair is wet. But I think I might wear it tomorrow. Might do a whole movie date tomorrow because Morbius is out and we wanna watch Morbius. We wanna watch it. But the point is, I'm not gonna look like a slob today, okay? We wanna look decent. We wanna look halfway decent when we go to the shops, but be like that sometimes okay so it's gonna be ah uh, so it's gonna be a quick grocery not grocery like a, a shop run there's just certain things that I'm short of it's not even grocery I ain't even trying to lie to you guys it's not um, so I just need a few things okay I need my purse I need my purse and I've got sanitizer in the car <sighs> 
one or two things and we'll be back in this house making some food because I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Let's go get the stuff. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> Do you know what? That stand that I got from Take A Lot is everything. It's everything. My, my hands, my wrists, my wrists are thanking me. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. All right, bro. Let's go. Evidently, I was gone for much longer than expected. Uh, but I eventually did decide to go into Home Essentials, which is sort of like a, a Chinese shop that sells a little bit of everything. It's, it's something like Value Mart. If you've been to a Value Mart, I think you know what, it, what, what, what is in there, right? So <clears throat> when you're in there, you can't help but have a look at a bunch of things and end up coming out with things that you really don't need. But to be honest, the things that I came out with, I needed. Okay, so one is, when do you ever remember uh, ice trays, ice trays, cube tray? Because I think mine have just, one by one have just been falling apart and I knew that at some point I'm going to need to buy a cube tray. So this is the ice cube tray. Looks really nice. I like this color. It looks really, really nice. And it's with 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 29, 20. Okay, 24. So it's got a nice slot. So I got two of those and it's got a lid. I thought that was kind of cute. So I picked up those and it's like 30 bucks for one, which is great. I'm just gonna, gonna cut these up and soak them before I okay. cut them up and soak them before I use them. Alright. I am famished. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. And I got blue as well. So I'm actually mad because I think I should have gotten this color. Two of those, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. And then I went in there for this, and this is what I picked up. This is the gas uh, lighters. There we go, fire! And then I got a refill at the same time. Uh, for somebody who lights up candles all the time, it gets to a point where sometimes I have to be really careful because I might end up with the lighter burning my nail. And, ja, I ain't trying to do none of that. Okay, I ain't trying to do none of that. And this is nice because you can lock it as well. Next out is Pick and Pay. No, uh, uh, Pep Home. Pep Home. I found these and I find them so cute. Look at these. These are candle bras. I find them so cute and I'm going to put them on my table. And I feel like they match quite a bit on my coffee table with what is on there right now. And then around the winter time, I'm going to change out. These are candle bras, in case you're not familiar. Uh, they're really great and got them from uh, Pip for 25 bucks. So I thought they're kind of cute. So we're gonna put them there or we're gonna put them on my, um, I'm thinking of switching that up a little bit on my TV stand, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then another thing that I picked up is these small uh, plastic storage containers. Now, I like to eat out of plastic scuff tins. I don't know why, but I really like to eat out of scuff tins. And a lot of the time when I'm eating things like noodles or whatever, I like to eat out of these. So I, I picked them up because they were 20 bucks and it's tiny and it's great. It just stops me from overeating, which is really good.
time. This is breakfast. Even though it is currently one o'clock. Uh, it's breakfast and should hold me down for lunch as well. Okay, so it's a little bit of a makeshift omelette without any cheese. And if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I really, really enjoy these whole wheat seed um, wraps. And I love to do them like this, especially around breakfast time with a little bit of egg and all of that. I just like munching on it as opposed to munching on bread. You know how people would have this with bread. I prefer it with this, even though I never finish them. But now that you know there, I really love putting the egg on and then wrapping it up like this and then chucking it in my mouth. But I'm going to do a bit of a taste test. And here... I'm having the Starbucks blonde roast. Wanted something very simple. Um, coffee seems to be giving my head. <laughs> coffee seems to be giving me a little bit of a headache these days. So I'm having the lightest of them all. Typically I like very strong coffee. But um, this week I haven't. So yeah, got a bit of Vienna in here. The robot peppers and some egg. I forgot to actually add the cheese. It would have been great with the cheese. But... That's neither here nor there. At this point, you can add sriracha, tomato sauce, sweet and sour sauce, chili sauce, whatever. It's up to you. I mean, standard generic omelette. This is how basically I like to put it on there and. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm. So. Itarakimas, baby. Probably figure else, figure out what else to do. Later on, I'm thinking I'm going to have some chicken fillets. I'm going to cut them up into squares and make some um, Asian Thai chicken with a bit of rice and a bit of uh, vegetables. I am actually craving uh, some rice today. So we're going to have that. White rice, I mean. So we're gonna have that a little bit later on. So otherwise, until then, shop ne, living kren ne. So it's going on much later on in the afternoon, as you can tell. I'm in the kitchen. It's going on five, I think. I think it's going on five. As you can tell, I'm wearing a little bit of a beanie because it's cold. Okay, it's not going on five. It's going on half past four. But I typically like to cook quite early. Uh, and also considering that I didn't eat anything in between uh, the omelette and the omelette. I haven't eaten anything else since then. I am having, however, water and I'm also having some Talisker because, honey, it's cold, okay? It's really cold and the Talisker is warming me up quite nicely. So what I am making now is a cubed Asian style chicken with some rice now basically when i say asian style i'm going to be adding a number of things to the chicken i'm going to saute it up a little bit and then i'm going to add these ingredients so we've got teriyaki here and this is the kikoman teriyaki sauce which is really 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 good and then we've got some oyster sauce this is from woolies i absolutely love this sauce right here and then we've got some honey for a little bit of sweetness. If you have tasted a lot of Asian cuisine, especially the, you know, your sweet and sour chickens, all of that, it's typically sweet. And then, of course, I'm going to drizzle over, bedazzle over the chicken uh, with a little bit of sesame seeds. So I think I do have sesame seed oil, which would be great to use with the mm, i think i'm out actually hang on i do have sesame seed Go oil all the way to the back yay bingo so this would be really good 
to so here we go we've got the sesame seed oil here this is by another brand another japanese brand so i'm going to use the chicken with the sesame seed oil as opposed to normal oil which will be great and i'll add the sesame seeds on top when i'm done preparing it and of course i'm going to always add veggies to the mix so the veggies that i will be adding are these ones which i picked up today that should be great we've got some sugar snap peas uh mini corn and manga tout peas so we've got this and then we've got uh miniature baby carrots which i'm not gonna add that's far too many of them but i'm gonna add that i'm gonna close this i'm holding my camera in my hand because you know differences differences i am currently cooking the rice and yeah i am currently cooking the rice in here and i like my rice very asian style i like it very firm um much like sushi rice basically i make my rice that way uh so it's basically one cup of rice to one and a half cups of water and then i boil it on high heat for about 10 to 12 minutes and then i remove it from the heat keeping the lid on for another 10 minutes and then it's nice firm and almost sticky which is great whatever is left on uh, whatever is left from the rice is something that I can keep in the fridge and then later on in the week I can make shrimp fried rice or egg fried rice something like that which would be great so yeah for now I am waiting on the rice I'll make the chicken shortly I do not think I'm going to add any I might add onions I don't think I'm gonna add onions Ginger, bit of garlic, uh, and ginger, bit of garlic. So we've got the garlic here, we've got the ginger here, and then we've got our lovely red onion, which I'm gonna chop up half of, and not the whole thing, because no honey, no. Tempo, tempo, can you keep up with my tempo? Tempo, yeah, yeah, blow it up, C4. I just hit the mic jack sign on my tiptoes. Oh, yeah. Rice is in here. I'm not gonna remove the lid as yet because we want the rice to soak up all that water and that heat and all of that. And it's gonna make it nice and um, sticky and it's gonna be beautiful. I'll show you what it looks like. Now, in here, we're gonna get our chicken going. So you're gonna put the stove on a, let's move this here. We're gonna put the stove on a medium heat. And then we're going to pour a little bit of our sesame oil. Thank you. So, as you can see, the chicken is going, looks very bland, looks very boring, <laughs> smells pretty good, but it's looking pretty bland, and it's going so that it cooks right through. It's been on here for about two and a half minutes now, so that's going to go for another two minutes or so, and then we're going to add all of those things over there. But, what I wanted to show you is the rice, so the rice has sat now for over 10 minutes. When you open it, it looks like so. And this is what I mean by it's sticky, right? So it literally, it doesn't quite completely fall off. You can literally scoop it on like this and put it onto sushi, as you can see. Oops, falling up. 
you can literally scoop it up like that and put it onto sushi. So this is how I actually like my rice. It is perfect. You can just sort of comb through it like so. It's great. You can put it in the fridge and then you can make a fried rice with it two days from now. It's just too much. Oyster sauce is quite strong, so you're not going to add too much of that. Just a little bit. Right here. Right here. Okay. Oops. Ooh. You stir that in. And then at this point is where you add the teriyaki sauce as well. Add quite a bit of that because that's delicious. I'm just going to brown it and darken it quite nicely. Mmm, <gasps> it smells so good. Best ingredient of the day is this. Honey is your best friend right here, okay? So all that is going. I'm going to open up the honey. And then we are going to bedrizzle. You understand? Predict my moves. I'm way too smooth. Yeah. I just caught a groove. Yeah. This right here, that Charizard, the fire in the booth. Yeah. Had to go right back to it. Yeah. If you ain't tell my money, please save your breath. Don't bring it up to me. Yeah. I pull up in that stunt like a 007 James Bond type movie. Yeah. Hey, don't slip on the trip. No, 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 no. Don't slip on the trail. So that's pretty much it. Very quick to prepare, literally under half an hour, and you've got a great meal. It's filling. It's good. It's got the vegetables, even though, albeit a little bit of vegetables. But it's fine, it's Saturday, we can afford to just maybe skip out a little bit on vegetables and greens. Um, and that's pretty much it. Literally a meal for three people could get a meal out of that. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's simple. I am probably gonna... I'm so sorry. I look like a little bit of a boy. I don't know. Uh, I'm probably gonna rest, relax. I will come back when I dish up the meal which will probably be in the next half an hour or so maybe even 45 minutes which is fine i'm just happy that the food is already there and it's made and it's ready and if you feel like maybe a little bit later on you feel like the meat isn't as saucy you can literally make your own sauce by adding some of these in a bowl stirring them up a little bit and then warming it a little bit and you can add a drizzle of that on top literally the same things that you used earlier on because i know that the longer it sits in the heat it might um lose a bit of its gravy saucy kind of thing which this one still looks fine but if you want to you can literally do it as i say and then warm it up in the microwave or you can douse it on top of this and then uh, put your stove on two for maybe about a minute or so and then that's great if you want to thicken it you can add a little bit of starch powder or uh, cornstarch or anything like that but i don't really suggest that i really don't Ooh, is is the peasant kids hang on for a second have you arrived that's wonderful. Yeah. That's great. Mm, mm, mm. So how's the how's how's it look there? Yes.
sometimes Once we both said our goodbyes Let's just let it go Let me let you go I'm not gonna lie, say I like it like that Like it like that Nothing's better sometimes